early morning, rise and shine. The longest kettle. <laughs> I wanted a cup of tea about half an hour ago. <laughs> First stop on the way back to Warrnambool was at Tower Hill. Tower Hill is the site of one of Australia's first active volcanoes that is now extinct, of course. It's now primarily a nature reserve and you can drive down and in amongst the parklands, which is exactly where we were headed right now. They're telling me that we're driving through a, a volcano, but I don't believe it because it's not very warm. He's going to come up, is he? <laughs> Just some of the wildlife that you see at Tower Reserve. There's a big picnic ground here, so I think this little fella might have been picking up a little, bit of, a little bit of leftover from some of the other people that might have been in the area. Copperheads too. The walk has a loop. It's about, it's about a kilometre to walk all the way around. Not many animals about during the winter time. Back in its day, this particular section was a lava lake and now it's full of swamp and snakes <laughs> and other, other wildlife. This whole place is basically a wildlife reserve now. The shower was really slimy underfoot last night, so I got myself some bubbles. I think this might be the camping end of the Yamada, is it Yamada? The Yamada Gateway Plaza at Warrnambool. A lot of interesting characters around, probably including us. Is there a bike in there? We're back at Logan's Beach looking for whales. Another great day out driving around. We got back to our campsite and the tarp above our swag was on its last legs, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> so it's blowing, it, it just had a squall come through and it's blowing its proverbials off. So Jeff's on his way to go and see if we can move camp, which is the very last thing I really wanted to do, but I know we have to do it. So I'm just waiting for him to get back. He'd be over there negotiating a site with the lady. There's only like 95 left, so he might be a while. <laughs> we spent a bit of time in Warrnambool today. We had a, a good drive around. There's so many walks all up and down the foreshore that you can do, and there's a huge big whale watching deck. The whales were so far out to sea, you can just make out, you could just see that. So it's a shame they went a bit closer, I understand why they're not. But yeah, lovely, the lovely spot to hang out and watch them when they are in really, really nice and close. There's a big museum in there about all the shipwrecks that have shipwrecked along the coast. We didn't go into the museum today. Just purely time and we wanted to get back and have a bit of a walk around Port Ferry again, which is where we're staying again this evening. We also, the purpose for going over to Warrnambool today was just to pick up a few things that we needed to pick up such as some more carton draft, of course. Um, the other thing, because we got powered site, we only brought battery lens, so we went and got ourselves a, a light so that if we are staying in campsites with power, we at least can plug in the electrical light then take advantage of that. I've just spotted Jeff, he's on the other side of the park. It, it looks like he's stepping out and surveying the area <laughs> that we're going to stay in the evening. 
don't know where he's off to. If he goes any further, he's actually going to be outside of the boom gate. <laughs> Won't even be in the park anymore. We'll be on the footy field next door. What's he up to? Anyway, this is going to be interesting. There he is. He's all the way over there. Look. I zoom in. Can you see him? He's making his way back. I think he's got a spot near that tin shed over there maybe. I can't wait to hear what he has to say when he gets back here, over here. So what's doing? What's the plan? Yeah. What's the plan? It's 44 kilometres at the moment, the wind. Yeah, 44k an hour. Yeah, and it's going to drop down to 35 she reckons overnight. So it's still going to be windy. Yeah, I reckon. So we can either go over to five where we saw. Yep. She said we could go down and park next to the shed if we wanted to. Yeah, I saw you at the shed. And that's yeah. that's really there's no wind at all there. Mm -hmm. She'd prefer if we didn't park a camp in there. No, because that's the park. And then all up in that whole back corner, it's all unpowered. We can camp anywhere you want up in that back corner. But it's unpowered. Yeah, we want the power because we've got the light today. Are you recording? Yeah. Why are you recording this? This is secret, secret business. People don't need to know about where we're camping. <laughs> so it will be down the less, the, the less distance I have to cut the swag and carry the swag, the better. Well, it's only over there. So we moved. Crying right now. Closed. We could walk up and around. I think there's another one. There's that. Charlie's. Yeah, let's go and check that out. This is Port Ferry, I guess it's the Port Ferry Beach. So, one amble where we were today is way over there. Warrnambool, where we went today, is over there. What did you call it? Jeff's just angry because he didn't get his fish and chips. This table here. This table where he's going to have his fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> this should be the walkway down to the beach. So after the fish and chips debacle, we find ourselves at the Four Seasons Chinese restaurant, Port Ferry. <laughs> Not happy camper. Just wanted a piece of fish or a hamburger, something takeaway. But no, we're going to sit in a restaurant. Yeah. We're having hun chicken and pork sweet and sour. that it's a Chinese restaurant with Italian spied windows. Well, what? And it goes grass. What? It's not fish and chips though, is it? No. And following the meal that was not fish and chips, we returned back to our campsite. Tomorrow we're heading back to Melbourne and checking out a few of the sites that we didn't see along the way on the way back. We hope that you are enjoying this trip along the Great Ocean Road with us. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying what we are doing and we shall catch you in the next one.